19 cases are spiking in some parts of the country. The Bay Area is doing better than most places. In fact, San Francisco has the lowest death rate and some of the lowest case rates of anywhere in the nation. KPI X5's Katie Nielsen is at the testing site in Alameda County to explain why the Bay Area has become the shining example of how to control this virus. Katie? Liz, one of the big metrics that health experts look to is the number of positive cases that come back from testing sites like this one at the Alameda County Fairgrounds. And right now, that positive rate in the Bay Area is lower than anywhere else in the state. In fact, it's one of the lowest in the nation. It's definitely something I am extremely grateful for. <laughs> Eric Bolin used to commute from Livermore to San Francisco every day to go to work at a PR firm. But now he's working from home, and today his office is this table in the sun near Starbucks. So I think that's definitely helped the Bay Area in a lot of ways, is because we're already so infused in the technology world. That's one of the many reasons why health experts think the Bay Area has been spared from a resurgence of COVID cases, how quickly companies transition to working from home, as well as the county health departments being quicker than most to implement COVID restrictions and also slower to lift them. Within the state of California guidelines, uh, they've been on the conservative side. Those efforts are playing out in the numbers. Across the state, about 3% of all COVID tests came back positive in the last two weeks. Numbers in the Bay Area are significantly lower. Only 0.8% in San Francisco County, 1.9% in Alameda and Santa Clara counties, and 2.3% in Contra Costa County. And those metrics are also, I think, uh, generally trending in a very good direction. But the same cannot be said for the rest of the U.S. and other parts of the world. A surge in cases in Europe led to new lockdowns Downs in France, Italy, Spain, Germany, and other countries. And across the U.S., cases are spiking in the South and Midwest, leading to overflowing emergency rooms and a lack of ICU beds. That's why UC Berkeley's head of epidemiology, Dr. Art Reingold, says it's critical for people to keep wearing their masks and continue to practice physical distancing. If we go back to life as we knew it a year ago, with no restrictions, there, there's no reason to think we won't suffer the same kind of resurgence. This is going on. And you have to take it seriously. Otherwise, it could get much, much worse. I'm very good about social distancing. I've actually become almost a little bit of a hermit. I think it's important we should wear a mask so it doesn't spread faster. Now, Katie, the percent of positive cases is one metric health officials are looking at. But what other metrics are they watching right now as well? They're keeping a really close eye not only on the hospitalization rates, but also the death rates. And in the Bay Area, those metrics trending down as well. Let's keep wearing our masks and keeping the social distance. All right, Katie, thank you. Well, UC Berkeley scientists are now testing the wastewater of millions of Bay Area residents looking for signs of coronavirus. They launched a temporary lab this month where they can test sewage from nearly a dozen wastewater agencies. Researchers say this is an easy way to monitor the virus's spread within a neighborhood or city. It can also act as an early warning system for potential outbreaks and signs of the virus can be found in human waste even before people start showing symptoms. And one more note, a person in Solano County has tested positive for COVID-19 and the flu. Health officials say it's the first documented case of co-infection in the country. They're encouraging everyone six months and older to get a flu vaccine.